Meeting call to order. Council Member Chapman? Here. Council Member Clayton? Here. Council Member Kendall? Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Deputy Mayor Quinn? Uh, we'll go. We'll, Here, we'll, sorry, 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 oh, sorry. Okay. I was on mute and I'm in a loud room. Okay. Uh, Mayor Moore. Here. Okay. Other, uh, the other people attending the meeting, we have city manager, Donna Vieira. We have city attorney, Frederick Orfetto. We have our assistant or our deputy city attorney, our deputy city manager, Mike Manzella. We are now, we will now have a silent prayer, a moment of reflection. We will now salute the flag. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of, of the United States, States, States of America, of America. And, and to the republic for, for, which for which it stands. One nation, One nation under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty with and justice, justice for all. As to comply with the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, PL 1975, Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in the following manner. The annual notice was forwarded to the Asbury Park Press, the Coaster, and the Star Ledger on January 7, 2020, and posted on the bulletin board the same date. All notices are on file with the city clerk. We will now move on to the special events applications. Getting Alicia unmuted. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, this evening, there's just one application before you, and it's from from Jersey with love. Uh, they're requesting to block the street tomorrow, Dewitt Avenue, for a uh, bus dedication um, in conjunction with Fulfill of Monmouth County. Are there any questions? I would just ask that this application be approved contingent on the applicant providing insurance and payment for hiring a police officer. Uh, this application was just received yesterday and we're trying to accommodate the request, but um, those two items are needed. Great. Okay. I'm no, no questions. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you. We will now move on to matters from the city council. <laughs> council member Chapman. Sure. So I just wanted to let everyone know that there are additional dates for free COVID testing at the transportation center. One is on Thursday, 11, five from nine to 12. The other is Wednesday, 11, 18 from four to seven. You do not have to be symptomatic. You simply show up and get your COVID test. I've had mine done and have gotten my results in two days. I was thinking. Um, also, for anyone who's interested in volunteering, uh, the Deal Lake um, Commission is having a cleanup on Saturday at 9 a.m. and people will meet at the boat ramp near the 7-Eleven. And Sunset Lake is also having a cleanup on the same day at 10 o'clock. Anyone interested in volunteering can meet at Bond Street and Sunset at 10 o'clock. And that's it. Have a safe Halloween. Councilmember Clayton. Um, just that the Asbury Park Department of Recreation is sponsoring Trick or Treat, but it is a walk or drive through event and it's going to take place Saturday. October 31st in the parking lot of City Hall between the hours of one and three. And in order to get a goodie bag, adults must accompany their children. So if you need any more information, please contact Leisha Floyd. And uh, the other, I just wanna remind everybody that Tuesday is election day. And if you have not received your vote by mail ballot, you need to contact someone immediately and you can reach out to the Monmouth County Clerk by either calling 732-431-7790 or email monmouthcountyvotes.com. 
Thank you. Council Member Kendall. Yes, a couple of weeks ago, I was absent from the council meeting and uh, my wife was in the hospital and she had surgery. And uh, I would see receive calls, different calls from different people, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I understand that um, Cassandra Dickinson is in the hospital, so I just ask everyone to keep or head of operation. I'm not sure what it is, so keep her in prayer. And as always, please uh, put your mask on. Walk with a mask. It's, you have to use. You have to have a mask. And there's so many people I see every day. It makes me sick to my stomach, coughing, and we just need to keep our masks on. So do the best you can and have a good holiday. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Uh, yeah, two two things. Um, one, the business committee sponsored a um, a family friendly uh, jackaland car uh, carving event this Friday, and it's been moved because of weather. It's been moved to Sunday, November 1st from 5 to 7 at the 600 block of Cookman. So no um, jack-o'-lantern event, free jack-o'-lantern event this Friday. That has been canceled due to weather and moved to November 1st from 5 to 7 on the 600 block of Cookman. And we all, I just ask everybody to check our website. We did put up some, you know, criteria on trick-or-treating, you know, your porch light on, porch light off, um, you know, stay six feet apart and, uh, you know, just, just some things that we're asking people to do for Halloween. If you are going to go trick or treating, just ask that you take a quick look at our website and, um, and, you know, follow the rules as best you can. Mayor Moore. Yes. I just, uh, same thing. Jesse said, please, everybody, uh, we were not even close to being out of the woods. Uh, the masks are proven that they're working. Please, please, please wear the masks whenever you can all the time. Thank you. We are on to matters from the city manager. Thanks, Melody. Um, what I'd like to do tonight and perhaps moving forward for those of you who are calling in on a phone and not on a computer, you don't have the benefit of seeing our agenda posted in front of you. And some members of council have received um, some calls indicating that they're not certain what a lot of the resolutions entail that are on our agenda. Since we have a late agenda this evening, I'm gonna go over real quickly a summary of the resolutions that are on the agenda. Um, and as always, if you have any questions about the matters on the agenda, you can call myself or the clerk's office uh, once the agenda is posted on Monday. So I won't take too much time, but I'm gonna walk through the uh, resolutions for this evening. Um, so resolution 280 is a resolution to authorize Mazza Recycling to process and dispose of our recyclable materials. Um, and that will be effective through the end of December, uh, 2021. We have a resolution to authorize repairs to one of our uh, roll-off trucks. Uh, resolution 316 is to extend our animal control services with the Monmouth County SPCA through December of 2021. Uh, resolution 317 is just the release of a performance bond for projects at 1101, 1105, and 1183 Main Street. Resolution 318 is authorizing um, an emergency repair for the generator at the waste management waste water treatment plant. And resolution 319 is authorizing the sale of property through a sealed bid process at a two slash four Borden Avenue. And um, there will be another resolution um, that is our special events, which Lisa spoke about. And then the uh, resolution that was just added recently will be the uh, um, a resolution to appoint the firm of Serenian, Edwards, and Nolan as a special affordable housing council to the city of Asbury Park. And that's my summary of the resolutions. That's all I have, Melody. Thank you. Matters from the city attorney? I have nothing at this time, Melody. Thank you. We will now move on to the public participation portion of the meeting. Do I have a motion to open the meeting to the public? Move it. Second, Kendall. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Members of the public may participate by dialing star nine on your phone to raise your hand in the Zoom meeting. I will call your name or the last four digits of your phone number when it's your turn to speak. Please state your name and address for the record. I will give you a warning when you have one minute remaining. And please remember star nine to raise your hand. No, I am not seeing any hands raised. Okay, I am calling upon 5124. Please state your name and address for, for the record. 5124, star six to unmute yourself. I'm gonna move on to someone else. I'm calling upon 3350. 3350, please state your name. Oh, yes, Ernest, Ernest Mignoli, 400 Deal Lake Drive, apartment 5B, also 3057, number 25, uh, Asbury Park, New Jersey, again, 07712. My phone number is 201 679 3350. My email is asburyparkcitizen at gmail.com. The reason I'm giving it is because I hope the public listening can start to communicate with me because the way we're being treated at these meetings, I find it horrendous that a city manager would dodge issues, say, call if you have any questions. She refuses to answer phone calls. She's brought what she did up in Homedale to Asbury with her previous employer, Michael Capabianco. We cannot escape the curse of Capabianco and now Viero. It's not going to go away. All right. And then let's talk about the police. Uh, what is it called? The equity committee. I think everybody's background on there should be checked for criminality sex crimes, I'm, I'm getting unqualified information that you have people related to board members and stuff that may have sexual backgrounds being fired for sending pictures of sexual objects, and they're on the equity committee? And what's up with Ms. Quinn, the, uh, the big lawyer, right, with words? And Ms. Quinn, why don't you admit how close you are with Mr. Asselon raising money with the manager there, the other co-owner, who gave you the qual the qual what is it? The Achievement of Life Award at 42 years old? Why don't you come out about all the children in there with an accused pedophile raising money, right? And then explain to us by Kahlua the other Friday night why you had Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Tom Arnone come and give you, I believe, you, Chapman, and uh, Clayton $1,000. And why did Bingo Powell come, Senator, and give you, those three, $1,000? And the school board member, Mr. Grillo, the unelected Democratic chair of Asbury. How does he even be the chair? One minute he was remaining. never elected. Excuse me? One minute remaining. Okay. You can't give me an extra two minutes? Unfortunately not. <laughs> I thought I'd ask. So, look, this crime is out of control. The police are out of control. And you're covering up. I was in court today. Your two police officers pleaded guilty to felonies against me. You got to see their backgrounds that's coming out. Drugs, alcohol, uh, domestic violence. And why? Because they came in through PBA Dello and lived in his house. And they were harassing me. They still are. And your chief harasses me. Your deputy chief. And they're on the equity committee. You should all be exposed. And I'd like to be the one to get a forum. Get me some public forum down in Trenton. And I will go and talk about Asbury Park Incorporated and the police for two hours. That's how much there is wrong here. And you just keep doing it and doing it and tell that slashback to take his illegal signs off the utility pole. Time's up. I'm calling upon 5124 star six to unmute yourself, Rita. 5124. Hi, Rita Morano, 8th Avenue. I have two questions and then an explanation. The first question is, how come we can't see city council? <clears throat> we, uh, we can see the zoning board, the planning board, but not the city council. And two, can we please consider changing the minutes to five minutes so we can each, you know, have at least five minutes to talk? I don't think any other municipality has three. I know Long Branch has five, and some are unlimited, but I don't, that, that's too much. 
but at least to five minutes. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was the planning board meeting that I, I, I was watching every day this week. And when the mayor came time to vote, he said he was confused about what would they were voting on. And I don't blame him because I was confused just listening to the meeting. The meeting was about a conflict between the planner and and the taxpayer, I guess. And we finally got it straight that there was a conflict, but we didn't vote on the con- I Not that I voted, but the planning board did not vote on the conflict. They voted on to get another opinion. I'd yeah. like to know why. I, I think it was confusing. If it is a conflict, it's a conflict. Why can't they vote on that? What was going on there? You know, this whole redevelopment plan should really be looked at. I mean, I go back to 1984 when it first started, and the changes that have been made, they're not on behalf of the taxpayer. I could tell you that. And in 2002, I don't know what happened then, but if those planners are in conflict, they should be gone on all the plans for the redevelopment, not just this one. And I'd like to know why they didn't vote on the conflict question. I'd like to know. I know John said he was confused. He compared it to apples and oranges. I don't know what that meant. But there was confusion about. And Serpico seemed to be running the whole show. And I call it bullying, but I don't think it was. I mean, nobody else thinks it was. But he always gears it for the developer. And I thought he was working for us, but I know he gets paid by the developer. So I think in January, you better think about changing some of these lawyers that we have, excluding Fred, because Fred's a sweetheart. But anyway, uh, I think you should really consider it (laughs) (laughs) about uh, getting new, new fresh heads there. Because I think Serpico got used to too much about this plan. He said we had six. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Not seeing any okay. other hand. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mayor. So I think we're working, and maybe Donna can update. We are, Rita, working to get um, a couple of council members don't have cameras on their computers, on their um on their desktop computers. And I, it's my understanding that we are working to get cameras for their desktop computers to start being able to do it via Zoom. Yes, that is correct, Amy. And Rita, it's John. Uh, I'm always confused, so what the heck. Uh, it's, a, it's a question you're gonna have, to, it, this is the council, the planning board is a separate autonomous agency. Uh, you're gonna have to ask that question on the Tuesday night is the planning board meeting. Uh, so again, I thank you and I wish you well and uh, keep on wearing that mask, Rita, thank you. Seeing no other hands raised, motion to adjourn public. Move it. Do I have a second? Second, Kendall. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is now closed to the public. We will now move on to the minutes. We have the Municipal Council Executive Session meeting minutes of October 14th at 4 p.m., the Municipal Council Regular Meeting minutes of October 14th at 6 p.m. Do I have a motion? Move it, Chapman. Second. Second, Kendall. We will now move on to the roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Council Member Clayton? I'll move, I'll come back to Council Member Clayton. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I was muted. We were, are now on to individual resolutions. We have resolution 2020 314, which is a resolution approving the payment of bills. Do I have a motion? Move it. Move it, Kendall. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Second, Kendall. Okay. Uh, roll call. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. No. Resolution 2020-280. And the reason these numbers are different is that these were to appear on a previous meeting. A resolution <laughs> authorizing an agreement with Mazza Recycling for the processing and disposition of recycling materials. Do I have a motion? Move it, Chapman. Second more. Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We are on to resolution 2020 288, a resolution approving a liquor license with special conditions for DB Ventures LLC doing business as Johnny Max for the 2020. 2021 licensing year. Do I have a motion? Move it, Chapman. Second, Kendall. Okay. We'll now move on to the roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We're on to resolution 2020 315, a resolution authorizing the repairs to the Mac roll-off truck number 50 at the Department of Public Works. Do I have a motion? Move it, Kendall. Second, Clayton. Roll call, Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We're on to resolution 2020-316, a resolution authorizing the extension for animal control services through December 31st, 2021. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second, Clayton. We'll now move on to the roll call. Council member Chapman? Yes. Council member Clayton? Yes. Council member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. On to resolution 2020-317, a resolution of the city of Asbury Park, releasing the performance bond for 1101, 1105, and 1183 Main Street, block 2804, lots two, five, six, and seven, and accepting a maintenance guarantee. Do I have a motion? Move it. Clayton. Second more. We'll now move on to the roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We're on to resolution 2020 a resolution authorizing the emergency labor and rental of a generator at the wastewater treatment plant. Do I have a motion? Move with Kendall. Chapman. We'll now move on to the roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. One, two. Resolution 2020 319, a resolution of the City of Asbury Park authorizing the sale of certain property owned by the city located at 2 4 Borden Avenue, Block 801. Lot 18, by open public sale to the highest bidder through the sealed bid process. Do I have a motion? Mm. Move it. Chapman. Second more. A... Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2020-320, a resolution approving the special events applications. Do I have a motion? Move, Move it, Kendall. Moore. Second more. Roll call. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Abstain. Council Member Kendall? Yes. 
Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2020-321, a resolution appointing the firm of Ceridian Edwards and Nolan LLC to serve as special afford affordable housing council for the city of Asbury Park. Do I have a motion? Move mm -hmm. it, Clayton. Do I have a second? Second, Quinn. Now move on to the roll call. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Does anyone have any other comments before we move on to adjournment? Just stay safe. Not hearing any. Uh, motion to adjourn. More. Move it, Kendall. Second. Second more. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is now adjourned.